Hi everyone, it's Frank Walters here, and I teach all the secrets of watercolour landscape painting. I make it accessible to those beginners and those wishing to improve. I just recently got back from wonderful island of Corfu. When you land there at the airport, you fly directly over a monastery. It's called Vlasherna Monastery. I'm going to use this as today's demo and show you how to paint it quick and slick so that when you're on your trips, you know how to go about a quick capture of what you're looking at. Right, here's the reference we're going to follow. Maybe take a screen grab of it before we start. And I'll now start the demo. I'll do it in super quick time because nobody wants to watch paint dry. Right then, let battle commence. Here we go. Uh, we've got the reference and I'm doing a pencil drawing first of all. I don't always do a pencil drawing. Sometimes I just paint without drawing. When you are drawing though, always remember uh, verticals got to be square and horizontals have got to be square and try and work on your vanishing points as well. Uh, that's really quite important. Again, it's done fairly quickly. Don't worry too much about accuracy. We're not, we're not architects, we're, we're artists. We're, we're just trying to capture the, the mood and the atmosphere of the place rather than the accuracy. Well, that's my view anyway, and it seems to have worked so far. Um, right, we've done the first wash, and now we're doing, going through a phase called calligraphy. Um, I've got a really nice Rosemary & Co brush here. It's a number eight uh, sable, really nice fine point. Allows me to draw with the brush. The more you draw with the brush, the better it becomes. Otherwise, you're just coloring in pencil marks and you don't really want to do that. Right, getting in some dark sepia now, uh, keeping things sort of fairly warm here. Temperature is always important as well. You want to get cools next to warms, and then the, the painting really then starts to sing. Uh, chucking in uh, some uh, foliage now uh, on the tree, uh, mixing some blue with some olive green. And now the really important bit to this painting, I think it's the important bit, is where we put in the shadow glaze, which is normally French ultramarine with a little dash of alizarin crimson, and uh, using the same fine brush again, and just looking at the reference and making sure I get those darks in. Not too dark, uh, but keep it all fairly fluid, and actually start to add some colours to it, remembering bits of shadow like on the roof and etc. And we're coming up towards the end now. We've virtually done a nice little bit of dry brush there in the foreground, just ticking in a few little bits and pieces. And now that bit of sea behind another. Right then, voila, that's it. Hope you really enjoyed that. Maybe come and join me on my regular Wednesday Zoom sessions. That's at 2.30 UK time. I've also got some great European retreats happening soon. And there's more information on my website. Hope you really enjoyed that and got something out of it. Take care until next time. Bye.